Preparations have gone really well. The group are very buoyant. Um, I think they're just super excited to get out on court against some of the world's best again. Um, off the back of the South Africa series, we're really welcome the opportunity to go out against the world champions and obviously Jamaica, for whom we don't meet very often um, in between major championships. So yeah, and I'm sure these guys are going to want some revenge after uh, after November. So yeah, it's a it's been a really good week and lots of momentum coming into tomorrow. Yes, um, preparations are also going um, really well. First time this week together after the England Series Series. Um, so it's great having all the players and coming to England to be prepare here. So yeah, we're looking forward to great games and I think um, it's great to have top teams in, in, um, of the world in this country and playing against each other. It's just great for Nepal. Well, kia ora everybody. Um, yeah, we've uh, probably Monday or coming over, getting over Monday, we're a bit dazed, if I'm going to be honest. Tuesday was still a bit foggy, um, but Wednesday the cloud is lifting and uh, had great training so far. Uh, really happy that the weather's not too cold, so that's been a massive bonus and obviously not raining that much. So quite good to come from our summer back home and uh, it being quite mild over here. Um, in regards to preparations, uh, as normal, I suppose business as normal. Um, great opportunity, not only for us, but I think everybody else to see where we are, knowing that we're in a four year cycle, um, but knowing probably that this is the start. Um, but um, I suppose can't wait to get out there tomorrow and uh, really excited and looking forward to the challenge. So. Good to see all of us here and um, yeah, just can't wait for tomorrow. Getting here was very cold for us. I mean, but our team is slowly adjusting to the, um, the weather. It was raining, it was cool. But for training session, we have had some pretty decent ones so far. Um, our team is looking happy and is excited and to start this great challenge against um, the nation who's ahead of us, who beat us and world champion. So it's something that we cherish. Um, the preparation was a good one. We have heaps of youngsters, so it was really difficult to to bring in the five new mm -hmm. ones. You know, um, but it's a really balanced team, and we are expecting great things from our team and um, and our opposition. Yeah. Yeah. I have a question. Yeah, please. Um, Nat. This is your first time um, kind of captaining England on home soil in quite a serious competition. Are you approaching it like, like just like you did for South Africa or is it, is it different for you each time? Uh, well, yeah, it's exciting. I think it's a huge honour to be able to be given this role and um, captaining the nation's club on home soil. I think it's really exciting and I'm really well supported with Jess and with Laura Malcolm as the vice captain. But yeah, I've just taken the opportunity um, it's great to be able to play international international netball against the top nation. So yeah, very looking much looking forward to it. Good to have these ladies here in Australia. Um, I suppose the some of the you know, more senior players aren't here for this tournament. What will that be like as you, know, you as captain? Oh well, like for some of our girls, they've uh, had a well earned like rest and recovery, and it's good for them to be able to have that. And then I think it's just good for some of our younger players to have an opportunity to represent the Roses. Um, 
leaning on from South Africa, just getting the opportunity to get out there on home soil against the top nations. I think it's just yeah, really exciting. We've got a very excited group. I'm Yusin Magu from New South Wales, and my question is for Nolan Kalurai, um, New Zealand coach. You are the champions at the moment. Um, how much pressure do you have, considering that you are amongst the team, and what are the chances of New Zealand walking away with top honours? Mm. I think, um, look, it was wonderful for us, not only for us as uh, Silver Ferns, but also our country, um, for us to win the Netball World Cup. Um, we're very uh, humbled, I suppose, but also the expectation has definitely risen within the team and also within our country now, um, which is a good thing in regards to the raising of the profile of netball. Um, so I, I think, you know, expectation and pressure does come along with it, and uh, not only for us, but everybody here, because you are representing your country. Um, but uh, I suppose uh, personally for us as a team is um, we're in a new four year cycle. We haven't got some of our old ones as well. And I think, you know, now it's getting close to the changing of the guard. Um, and like everybody, uh, there's, there's new blood that's going to be out there on court and we're not any different. Um, but um, we're looking for that performance and knowing that this is the beginning of the four year cycle and the expectation now that we've developed in our team that we're out there to perform. So time will always tell um, and, and uh, I suppose after the first test we'll know where we are in consideration to the opposition as the opposition will know where we are as well. So um, exciting times, just can't wait to get out there and uh, just to get out there and play basically. Um, Amelia, uh, congratulations on becoming captain. Um, how are you going to approach playing? Is it going to change how you are at all? Is it going to change how you are around the team, or is it is it just business as usual for you? I've definitely thought about it quite a lot, um, and I think it's definitely a new role that I've stepped into now. And I think I've stepped into the role because of who I am, anyway. So. It will be business as usual, but with a few extra things added on top. So I'll try and just stay really true to myself and who I am because that's why I think I'm in this role. Um, so that'll be the biggest thing. I mean, it's a whole new, um, whole new period for me anyway and a whole stage of growth. So I'm sure things will go well, some things won't go well, but um, we'll just all learn along the way. And I think I feel really lucky to be supported um, both by Knowles and, and I've got two amazing vice captains in Gina and Jane as well too. And, and our girls are great as well. So um, I feel lucky that I'm, you know, not just doing it by myself. And how, how do you feel about this tournament being your first one um, at the helm, so, so, so to speak? I think it's really exciting. It's exciting for us to be back in England again. Um, and, I mean, it would be exciting no matter what. But, uh, yeah, we're, we're out there ready to have a good crack. And um, we've been training well. And we've got some new blood coming through. So I think it's all exciting. That's the best way we can look at it. Laura Lehman's having this tournament some time off. It's back in the gym, back on the Sunshine Coast, I see. Mm -hmm. um, would you like to hang on to it for the captaincy for the four year cycle, given that she's sort of towards the end of her career? I guess we'll, we'll really see how it, how it grows and how it goes. And um, I mean, I absolutely look up to Laura like you wouldn't believe. And uh, we follow her stories really closely and see her training um, as always. Uh, yeah, so I look up to her as a leader and, and we'll see how it goes. So I um, would love to have her kind of watching over me anyway, regardless of where she is. On Tuesday, we found out that uh, Lisa Alexander is going to be here uh, in the wings watching <laughs> on <laughs> on Australia's absence. If anyone would like to comment, is that a missed opportunity or an opportunity? Could we start maybe with New Zealand? Give yeah. the microphones there. <laughs> <laughs> um, missed opportunity for who? For them or us? For, for you? How do you see them not being like here? Or for them? Yeah, um, is it a relief that you don't have to play them again? Uh, <laughs> no, I, I, once again, it is an opportunity when we do play them. Um, that's always that's always the case. Um, uh, for some reason, and they only know why they're not here, and can understand, <coughs> I suppose, the load and what happens as well with ECCN, the the local competition, and and what's required within the country. Um, I think. Um, you know, we're really grateful that we have four countries that are vying for the, the cup and uh, who are equally going to be competitive out there on court. Um, great that Lisa's along, so she'll see the class of all four countries out there battling away uh, when they're having a rest back home. So uh, we'll do our best to uphold to the standard that we do. 
um, and, and hopefully the standard that we put out there will maybe um, Australia uh, will have to look at themselves for when we play all four countries play against them again. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. Well, I, th I think maybe a missed opportunity for them in the sense of very rarely do I think you bring four teams out of the top five world world nations and not know many of what the results will be before the first whistle goes. So I think from that point of view, what an opportunity for these teams to sit here today, really not being able to predict the outcome of any of these matchups, which I think from that point of view, that's quite a different dynamic and environment and space to work within and perform within. So I guess that's potentially a missed opportunity for them, but they'll have their reason and I'm sure it's um, a clear and rational one for them. Um, we're really lucky that we toured over to Australia and New Zealand pretty much on my first day, um, <laughs> give or take a couple of induction meetings, uh, and, and had a touch point with both the New Zealand A and Australia A team. So whilst it isn't their starting seven, it was still really good for us to take what was quite a new group over there so soon into my tenure. Um, so yeah, I think you know when the quad series kind of resurrects itself later on in the year, I think that will then be the real test as to whether or not Australia have missed something and what potentially the four nations have gained. But I definitely welcome having Jamaica here. Um, from an English perspective, the rivalry is long-standing, and so it's really good that they're over here. Um, and I think the format of the competition is perfect. I think it's great that this time around, actually, there is that kind of first, second, third, fourth um, to kind of really test all of us again in the closing stages of the competition. So I think there's a lot of good to be had through this opportunity. My question is for Bonging from South Africa, Catherine. You are representing South Africa. I've been following your Facebook pages, um, and you have a lot of support. There were a lot of messages from the whole African continent. You're not only representing South Africa, it's the whole of Africa. Uh, what are you promising Africa? Um, I think to start off, um, it's probably within us as South Africans have the pride of where we come from and who we are. And um, just coming over to play in the board to represent if I can speak of myself, my country is a big thing. And if you looked at my Facebook, I think you would know how united we are and that's um, what we work on because we always feel that the more we can enjoy each other's space, the better we can be on court. And it, it's been showing um, in the couple of years now, especially um, obviously from last year's World Cup. And I think um, a bigger challenge for us is to really try and maintain or even be better than what we were last year. And this is a new year, I think every team um, for everyone sitting here is looking forward to see what they have this year going towards obviously looking into building up and, and literally changing into things and um, hoping for the best. We also have a new coaching staff I can really say they've been doing some fantastic job. It's was going to be hard to step into Norma's shoes everyone knows she's such a brilliant coach but how amazing they have been for us and I think the girls really just cherish um, their work and they just love working with them so this is how we are and we're looking forward to what lies ahead. We always get excited when we're going to get challenged and I think that's why we can be um, a challenge ourselves, which is awesome. Uh, to you again, um, some of the um, more high, pro high profile players aren't here, but South Africa in that defensive end with Carla and Pumza, how good is it that they've come all the way from Australia to be at this tournament? Oh, I think um, that's definitely a bonus for us, um, especially to have Carla coming back. Uh, Pumza has been there when he played, obviously, in England in the Test Series. And I think um, Shaleen has also stepped up um, a lot. We've got some great upcoming players and um, Kamisa Tawani, if I can name her as well. Um, I think this side is really has some great depth um, of which we can sit back and just look and get excited in terms of what's going to happen with the Sparkles here in the years to come as well, because that we also need to plan uh, for. But I think... Um, with that defensive side, it's quite exciting because I, I kind of know that that's where we probably um, are doing a lot of damage. And if we can literally just uh, sort ourselves out in other departments of the court, we literally can um, probably cause an, ups an uh, um, upset in this tournament. How amazing it could be if we just come up top. We're looking forward to really pushing for that. It's going to be exciting. <laughs> I think, unless my memory is, has completely failed me, every single player here had played in the World Cup and also played when New Zealand played England and South Africa played Jamaica. So can I ask each of you how you're feeling about reigniting that, that rivalry? Because obviously the England-New Zealand semi-final was, was, was huge, massive pressure. 
but this is different pressure altogether. And obviously the South Africa Jamaica game was all different types of um, emotions going on there. I remember the South Africans really celebrated that game. So can I ask the um, captains how they're feeling about kind of revisiting those feelings again, I suppose? Yeah, that was a very hard one to follow. Um, kudos to South Africa, they did come out really well and they played us really good. But yeah, as you said, it's going to be um, a rematch and it's going to be something that we want to um, redeem ourselves and just go out there and play hard and just um, do what it is what it is that we have been practicing at home and do what we've been here just to make sure um, we come out on court on the day and do your best. Uh, yeah, I think, I mean, regardless, it's um, it's super exciting um, being back against those same kind of rivalries, but with a new team, kind of creates a different level um, of game and I guess a little bit of anticipation. Um, but regardless, we're really excited and um, at the end of the day, we've just got to back our processes, uh, back what we've been doing as a team and, and know where we're heading. And I think that that's, yeah, it's just really exciting for us, I think. And yeah, just touched on that, I think... Obviously, there was still the heartache of losing that semi-final against New Zealand back at the World Cup, but what a chance for us to go up against the world champions on home soil in Nottingham this weekend. I think it's really exciting. There's new faces within both teams. I think it's a great spectac um, spectacle for the sport, and yeah, it will be a really good test that we should be very much looking forward to. I think for us, uh, we have so much respect for Jamaica, and obviously they rank um, just above us. and. Um, but we also do have respect for what we can produce on court when we're in sync um, as a team and um, it will be quite exciting to see if what happened at the World Cup, what will it look. <laughs> it's always nice to know that we're get, coming up against the best and we literally have a potential of probably coming up top. That's what everyone who's been here wants to do and I think for us it's just about really just playing on court and getting connections going and seeing our first game being such a great game. I think it's, it's just going to be amazing to see how we finish. But as much as we have respect for them, we really just want to go out and play and enjoy it. Yeah. Okay, um, off the court, because you're talking about the competition here, in your respective countries, do you believe that netball is making enough impact, especially with the youth, and how do you believe it can be promoted? You know, because it's, it's, I mean, I was at the World Cup, I enjoyed watching you guys, but after the World Cup, everything sort of like went quiet, then there was South Africa, then quiet, now this competition. So what do you believe can be done to promote netball? to involve like the youth, uh, captains and coaches? If I can talk about um, what, what's happening back home in South Africa, I think uh, uh, for me personally, the highlight is just to see it, um, in high schools, primary schools, universities, um, everywhere in the world how netballers are really achieving in their uh, personal spaces as well. It's just great to see everyone really uh, graduating, um, the girls in primary schools really enjoying like, those minor tournaments. I'm very much involved in development of netball back home in our country and I know the South Hills are very involved as well and that's how we want uh, to be seen as ambassadors of netball back home and I think everyone around the world really wants to do that uh, really well. We can't constantly obviously keep on pushing what's not there. It has to be based on a tournament that's happening unfortunately but I think netball has really been doing some great job and I'm just proud to be part of what's happening in this space because it's actually what's happening in real time and probably in the years, two years, five years to come it will be different people really promoting our sport but I think it's been awesome, fantastic especially um, uh, <coughs> until the end of last year. Uh, I think impact wise just in terms of um, the success that the England, England squad had over the last couple of years since Commonwealth Games and obviously then having the opportunity to host the World Cup um, I think everyone can agree that it seemed to go down really well. It's a huge success, well attended. Um, whilst it may have appeared to have gone quiet, actually in terms of new innovative programmes at both participation and at a youth level, we've had quite a lot of launches of that since the World Cup and, and the uptake in participation and membership is actually huge um, and we've seen a, a huge impact in spiking that, uh, which is really encouraging and I think actually the Nations Cup is the first time being back on home soil is a real testament and measure of that with sell out crowds pretty much. I think Birmingham's just about to sell out. So I think to have all four <laughs> venues kind of packed, it wasn't long ago, either as a player or a coach, that I used to come to these matches and it, was, it wasn't good enough. So I think, yeah, we have our work to do. Um, and we, I think we're getting better as an organization to understand the relationship between the performance mm. of this team and the impact that can have on all levels of the organization and the growth of the game. So we understand that and we, we stand strong in terms of our responsibility to, to raise the profile. 
Uh, in regards to netball in New Zealand, netball is number one female sport in our country. Uh, there's been, I suppose, with the raised profile and also us winning the Netball World Cup, that's been a huge influence um, uh, in regards to probably more government funding. Um, probably if we look at equality between netball, rugby, which is also number one sport, there's a huge gap. Yeah. So in saying that we are sort of lessening that gap, but there's still a lot of work to do. Um, probably underneath uh, or what's also happening not only in New Zealand but also Australia is um, uh, competitions around um, cricket, um, rugby, sevens uh, who do also, uh, who also have a women's program um, and probably the profile of those sports are, um, are bigger than netball and they cover more countries so um, I think uh, a big thing for us is not to take things for granted. Um, you know, there's still a big gulf in between equality of female and male sports. Um, but in regards to female, we're at the top of the pecking order. Um, so we can't take that for granted and we may, must make sure that we keep improving and um, that we still remain in the grassroots. Um, I think schools is probably a big thing for us, making sure that we are there. And then obviously as well, the work that we do with other countries to raise the profile and support, uh, uh, to support other countries, uh, for example, the Pacific nations. So um, it's been fantastic that we did win the World Cup, but um, if anything, it's probably just the start, um, but raises the profile or opens the gate to know that we can do more and, and gets other sports or the rest of our country looking at us, and that's a great thing. Um, for netball in Jamaica, I think, coming from the American region, I think Jamaica is the most successful, other than team, when it comes to netball. Yes, we lack in government funding, but I've seen where our netball is still growing. We have vibrant leagues. We have um, the prep school league. We have uh, the high school league. Then we have uh, the regional league, the business house league, and then our own national league. So we're always playing netball there. But um, the funding, you know, has, it, it's, it's been a struggle to get government funding because you know we have to battle with cricket and we have to battle with track and field and then the soccer but we're still owning our own because we're from the americas and i can tell you that places like st lucia trinidad and, and tobago bermuda i mean they wish they wish they actually wish that they have what we had but um it's you know it's still work in progress uh, but i can tell you that throughout the year we always have netball because that when it comes to the high school rivalry it is hot because they're going up against the country school mm. and, and mm. the town school and the business league and the club league. It's 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 work in progress. I think it's time for one more question. Yeah. Okay. Great. Thank you, everyone. So, if you could just ask uh, captains and coaches to stay where they are and for some photos. If everyone wants to grab their microphones and things like that as well. Um, if you don't need to get a photo or anything, um, feel free to go and set up for those of you that do one-to-one -one interviews elsewhere. Um, or if you don't, thank you very much for coming.